Yo, Zach, it's Luke. Do you want to call and order a board? Yeah. A straight twin, but like a little more bladed out. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm gonna make another one of your prototype single fins. We're just refining a couple more things. Okay, good. So yeah, I'll bring you that, and then go right our twinnies. Awesome. Sweet way. All right, we'll talk to you soon. When I was younger than 10, actually, I really wanted a new board. And that never happened. My mom was like, oh, uh, like, why don't you just try shaping one? And my dad and I shaped it here in the garage. I started going over to Jim Phillips' shop. I got a lot of time just sitting there watching Jim shape. And like, I just thought that stuff was really cool. It was really beautiful, you know? That really influenced me. Yo, dog. What up? Here's the fin. It looks good. Yeah, I like the template a lot. So nice. I love having them not too, not too big. Yeah. Not too bassy. Once they get too long, too, it's like you know when you start turning and the you're turning only on the fin. Yeah. It's like the board's not even there. Yeah. Yeah, it looks perfect, dude. And I think nine seven five is like right, right at that perfect. Amount. Yeah. Any bigger, I mean, at least for boards my size, are gonna be way Just too big. Stuck. Yeah. yeah. I'm stoked to throw this thing in. I'm curious where you set it. Like the first time I throw the fin in the board, I just eyeball it and I'm like, okay, that's like visually pleasing. Right. Other people might like it different, but I like the curve of the tail to like really, you know, pick up right in front of the base of the fin and then the fin's going through the curve, you know? Yeah, that makes it sense. It travels throughout all the curve. On a bigger wave, probably a four foot, if you can get like a four foot glassy wave on this thing, I've turned and like done full grab rail carves where you're literally only riding this much of the board. You Whoa. Know? And it feels so crazy to have like almost the same amount of fin as you do surfboard that you're riding on, yeah, but it grips so good. It just feels great with this type of fin. I'm really excited to try it. I mean, I use it every day just because it's such a balanced fin. There's not really a board it wouldn't work in. It turns so good too. But there's enough fin there to hold you. I can turn on this board as hard as I possibly can. And like, I've never felt it slip on me. The long boards we've been working with a uh, foil. It's difficult to get it just right with the long board because it's such a, you know, there's so much surface area for the foil. It ended up working great and I think it made the board work the way it was supposed to. You can come check out the bay. I got something in there for you. Dude, here it oh, is, the sick. freshie. Oh, I'm so excited. It's like narrow, but it keeps all that through it. Yeah. So I think it's just gonna be super fast. But yeah. then it's still got the little wing. Did you set it up perfectly to ride your twins in it? Yeah, since the rail line's so straight on it and you have the wing here. With a board this performance, mm -hmm. like oriented, having it so narrow, you don't need that keely that base. fat base. Yeah. yeah. It feels so nice to have something that'll release and then grab and you can turn it on a dime. Yeah. And yeah, like yeah. flick back down the line, you know? Can't wait to try this thing. Yeah, dude, you gotta bring I'm, it out. I know. You gotta let me know how it goes. I gotta try it. I'm so stoked on it. <laughs> The 
both of them, I pretty much drew out one template and it worked really well the first time. For my type of boards, they're generally narrower, thinner. Having more of the upright style really complements it. Working with Futures has been super cool. Having younger people like Luke involved in the whole fin process, getting to talk to people that actually know about fins because I don't have a vast amount of knowledge or insight on it. And so it's cool like Vince is sharing all that with Luke and uh, it's just a cool thing to see and it's good. At least the formulas that we have now for performance styled twin fins it's pretty dialed.